All right, it's been a while, I know, but this is Ash from Finger Strong here giving a review today of the 511 Rush Delivery Tactical Messenger Bag. Uh, military briefcase for a laptop, camera, tablet, uh, files, stuff like that. This is the X-Ray, which is just extra large. They have the mic, which is medium, the Lima, which is large, and then the X-Ray, which is extra large. I went ahead and got the extra large X-Ray in double tap colors. This is kind of a gray and black. It also comes in black, OD Trail, which is OD Green, and Sandstone, which is kind of a brown, kind of earth, kind of like coyote brown. Before I even open it, I'll let you know that this bag, I'll put a link in the first line of the description below to the Amazon where I bought it from. I love buying from Amazon because you know it's gonna be taken care of. You don't have to worry about entering your credit card information. It's the biggest company in the world just about buying stuff online. So that's where I like shopping. But anyway, the X-ray version of this bag cost me around a hundred bucks. And this is what you get for 100 bucks. Let's start on the outside. It's 511, so you know it's gonna have good stitching. I haven't found any loose stitching on it yet or anything like that. That right there is the only piece I've found. You can't even see it, it's so minute. But it's 511, so you know it's gonna be good quality. Heavy strap, about a four finger strap right there for attaching things. It even comes with Molly right here, the very top. Front, two, let's see, about, two, about a two handful size pouch about to your wrist. Two in the front. This is all Molly Velcro. Each one of these are separate, which is different on some of the things. Some, the, some products only put the Molly piece in the middle, but with 511, they put it on each individual ring here. Let's go ahead and look at the side here. Large cup holders, little retention strap there, little netting, same thing on the other side. And again, on both sides, they put the Velcro with a three molly attachment there. Uh, compression straps on the bottom, drainage holes, just fling this thing around. Here is another uh, strap to put on you. So when you put this, over, put the big strap over your shoulder, you can put this one around your waist, a little more uh, tension, stays with you better. Strap holder right here, or anything else you can use your imagination for. On the back, because this is 511, has a CCW pouch. Inside this pouch, Hope the lighting helps right here. Hope the lighting gets it. But there's big, large Velcro piece right here to attach your holster to or your gun, for good gun retention. I have my thoughts about carrying a weapon off my body. I'm not a big fan of that, but it's there if you want it. The strap is a typical 511 strap. Real thick um, padding here, little grips. And this right here, non-sweat. Three uh, Velcro lashings here to hold the strap. Really good nylon. Little thick wide band so it carries the weight of your um, contents really well. Uh, a cool feature here. That's, that's a part of that uh, strap that goes across your waist. But 511 has these little quick releases. Underneath these little elastic bands is the actual clip there. It holds on there. But I like how they put the little bands on there. Just kind of a little more retention. Keep from accidentally knocking it loose and losing your bag. All right, so we've talked about the outside of the thing, uh, this 511 Rush. What we're going to look into now is look on the insides. That's what you came for. You want to know what you put in this thing. Two clips right here. You can adjust those down. Totally adjustable. See how they put a little thing there to keep them flopping around? I like that. Open it up. Automatically, you got this. Velcro, Velcro. Velcro right here. So when you close it, a little bit of retention doesn't flop around on you. Uh, I've added a little keychain holder right here to this major strap. I got a pin marker, I got a little flashlight. I got a highlight, I got my business cards right there. Uh, that's pretty much the feature of the front here. Oh, I like this, I'm sorry. Little bitty uh, key holder. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's a little bitty key holder and they place it right above this pouch. It might not be a big deal to you, but to me, they could have put that little thing anywhere and it's be a key free, uh, free floating around. But I like how they put it right there. So you can put your little key on there, stick it right there. I don't know, a little something, no big deal. Right here, we have these, of course. We have a Velcro patch pouch right here. It's a good two handfuls wide. We have a pouch right underneath it. Notepads, calendar, another two handfuls size, deeper. On the side here, the deep pockets, about four finger, about that deep. I'll put a handcuff in there. Uh, right here is a zipper pouch. There's pockets all over this thing. Another big pouch right here. 
It, it runs the whole front of this thing. Big, deep pockets. Good retention for paperwork, files, stuff like that. All right, adjust the lights a little bit so you can see better on the inside. As soon as you open up, retention strap, one big pocket here. Put whatever you need to in there. Below it, you get two other pockets here that are stitched down the middle. So that's a really wide handful, these two pockets. The main compartment, you can put wherever you want to. There's a little, uh, little book there, my little notebook. Velcro right here, a large computer strap. This is the extra large, so it's humongous on the inside. On the bottom side of these sewed in pockets is netting, zippered pockets. The main compartment here is very large, large Velcro here, the tension. Behind that Velcro is two pockets, flashlight pocket, if that's what you want it to be, about two fingers wide, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is another big, large handful, main computer apartment. Here's my large computer, my HP, I've had for years, freaking obsolete. But really, in the computer pocket, I can fit two computers in here. This is a big, big, big bag. I probably could have done well with the Lima, the uh, large bag, but I figured all the stuff I gotta carry back and forth. I kinda want the uh, X-ray bag. Material inside is rain resistant nylon, I believe. Well, water resistant nylon, I should say, not rain. Um, behind that, foaming on that and that, foaming on the other side too. I could stuff this thing so full of computers, I could put a damn keyboard in here. I could put my freaking uh, DVD writer, um, external drive. I could put notebooks, tons of files in here. Cinch it up, pop it on. Go have meetings with paperwork I needed. Bring my computer to change the paperwork if it's not sufficient. Carry out the door as is. 511 Rush x-ray and double tap. The only minute thing I could think of to make this bag better would be more room to carry pins and markers. Not their fault, a reasonable, decent person could keep up with three pins. I cannot, however. So if it had more pocket holes, and I've noticed that these right here aren't that wide, makes sense, that's a little tough to get in there. That's what she said review for this is really really strong 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 bag i really like it get the 511 logo there doesn't stick out too much as a tactical bag i'm probably not gonna put any patches on it i'm gonna leave it very plain so it doesn't draw attention it's it's large though you put that thing on you know you got it on like i said it comes different sizes the mic medium lima large x-ray extra large there we go this is Ashley finger strong giving this product four fingers boom 511 rush